Hello everyone, and today we will be discussing the man, the myth, the legend, the crazy millionaire, Vladimir Putin, who is also very powerful, if you can't tell because he's kind of, uh, what should I say? Oh yeah, yeah, uh, dictator of Russia. We're going to be discussing from his early birth all the way to his death. But he's not dead yet, so probably about modern day, so yeah. If Putin is dead by the time you watch it, please tell me in the comments. I'll be watching if I am still alive. Now, Vladimir Putin was born on an unknown date in an unknown place in an unknown year to an unknown mother and a father. All we know about their mother and father was simply these things. His father was a great chef and had to be hired by Stalin and Vladimir Lemon to be their personal chef. Another thing that we know is that he died. Heart disease. The number one hero killer in history. Yay! Heart disease. And we don't have a cure yet, so yeah, I guess. So, Mr. Putin was only left with his mother, who then died of unknown causes. Luckily, at this time, Putin was already an adult and already had a job. Unlike most of you douchebags, I don't have a job because I'm not old enough. But then, Putin didn't just have this job of earning money at a, some grocery store. Some, no, 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 no. Not that. Vladimir Putin had a job in the Russian communist version of the CIA. Yep, the communist version of the organization that tried 600 times to kill Castro, but failed every single time. Except this CIA wasn't as terrible. In fact, they were pretty good, except that, you know, the communists. Now Putin was a intelligence officer and he was at this job when somebody named Gorbachev was in charge. Do you know what else happened during Gorbachev's reign? Yeah, you're right. The collapse of the Soviet Union. Now the collapse of the Soviet Union is a very controversial topic for Putin, but many people never heard of his opinion until very recently he made this blog post. 1991, all these territories and which is more important, people found themselves ta abroad overnight taken away, this time indeed from their historical motherland. Yes. The breaking of the Soviet Union for him was very controversial. And I understand that he loves Russia and the Russian motherland, but you know, that does not say why do you have to become a dictator and try to invade the countries that now have their freedom. So Vladimir Putin then was under the Russian Federation, yay, under Boris Yeltsin, who was an alcoholic. A very big alcoholic. If you watch any video, he's probably holding a bottle of vodka. And Putin obviously liked Yeltsin a little, but you see, there was something about Yeltsin called, how should I say it? Ah, uh, yes. Taking imperialist ideas from outside powers. The West. So when Boris Yeltsin suddenly was like, I'm too drunk to be the leader of this nation. The current prime minister, who is none other than Putin, took to office. And he did a lot of reforms. He even visited the president's summer vacation house for a vacation. Then 
He started planning for an invasion, an invasion of a smaller country that used to be part of the Soviet Union, which totally warned Clinton that okay, this guy's not oh, this guy is not a little friendly grandpa. But surprisingly, Putin did not see that. You see, according to the Constitution. For I guess the Russian Federation, it said that each president could only serve two years. So after two years, Putin was elected out of office. Well, not really; it was just the law. And Putin made a Putiner guy come up and become leader. And Putin resigned to his role as you get it, prime minister. So that when that guy dies or resigns, then he can become president again or dictator. I don't know. Now, around at this time, Putin started building up ideas, ideas for get this, a dictatorship. Listen. His story is filled with dictatorships, Mr. Putin. Will you please learn? Dictatorships don't end up well. But still, he planned for it. So when he was made the president after the first guy resigned, he started doing something unprecedented. First, the first thing that he did, something very controversial. And that thing was, he changed the constitution. Do you know how he changed it? Now he got rid of the part that said that they could only serve one or two years. He changed that part, and he made it to infinite years, unless the person is dead. And the people can't elect him out of office. He can only resign, and the person next to him, the person who comes next, needs to be chosen by that guy. Now this is pretty dictatorial, if you ask me. But still, he didn't. He wasn't like an absolute dict. Oh wait, what? What Google? Oh yeah, I forgot. Yes, Putin also did things after that, like. Making all of his political opponents shut up or die. He would take the richest people in there, the all the billionaires, and said, "All of you need to be loyal to me because you control everything." And one of them said,、mm, "No." Who then died in prison. So obviously, right now, Putin is currently making a dictatorial powers to himself. He's not an absolute dictator, but he just acts like one. You know, like Hitler. Hitler would control everything, even propaganda. Oh,、uh, huh? Oh,、uh, what? Oh yeah, Putin controls the propaganda. Have you ever seen like those photos of Putin with his abs, with no shirt, riding a horse on a mountain, or? Going up in a hockey uniform and playing against all the best hockey players in Russia and winning—well, actually, that's all propaganda. And the Russian people fell for it, and they enjoy watching their glorious leader do all these things. Now, I have to say something to Putin: You're really good. You're not that good at being a leader. But I think you would have been very good to be a movie director in Hollywood. These are all fake pieces of propaganda. Now, another thing about Putin is modern day. What about modern day? Well, COVID and all that stuff has given us a blind eye to the current Russian-Ukraine border crisis, started by who?、Mm. I don't know. Maybe one of maybe like the seventeenth richest person in the world, Vladimir Putin. Imagine that. Wait, what? It was started by that. Oh, cool. I guess something else to talk about. 
Now, the border crisis was, you know, a border crisis, almost like the Cuban Missile Crisis and stuff. But this time, it is not like that. Putin, under his command, ordered half of his military to the Ukrainian border. Now, if you saw what he wrote in his article, you will know that he wants to bring everything back. He wants to restore Russia to its former glory, like any dictator that previously failed. And, of course, when he moved the troops there, Putin did the only reasonable thing. Hi, outside world. Yep, just a military exercise. Nothing to be worried about. Nobody believed him, obviously. Now, when it became clear that currently Russia was preparing troops everywhere, Putin came out and said, I have three things to ask you. One, NATO stop expanding. Don't know what NATO is? I'm not going to tell you. Look it up. It's on Wikipedia. Duh. Then he said, all troops of NATO countries move out of Eastern Europe. And finally, America, do not help your allies. Of course, this is not what Mr. This is not what NATO said yes to, because like allies, military allies, what else would military allies do than protect them? And Putin already knew that, yes, they were going to say no. But at least it's going to be like, okay, they said no, I tried to make an agreement, they did not say so. This is a tactic used throughout history, Mr. Putin. It's taught in middle school classes. You think that America's really going to fall for that? And that basically brings us to modern day. Russia annex, Crimea, and all that stuff. We don't know what's going on in the future, but all we know is that this border crisis with Putin at its head is heating up. It might even go into a third world war. Hold up, that sounds familiar. Oh, if you want to hear more about the third world war, I just did a video about that yesterday. Go see that if you want to know more about the third world war, which has not happened. But now, this is where we leave us. Putin started out as an orphan, kind of, and now is the head of the largest in land country in the world and is now in a border crisis with Ukraine.